Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. We're back playing some more Destiny 2. We've just received some of our uh, Traveler Given superpowers back, so we're going to go check in with Shax and Hawthorne and see what else we can do to, uh, to try and help out. We are currently the only person who can't die. That does make us sort of a hot commodity. Oh, yeah. Like, uh... Like the samurai in Blade of the Immortal. Mm. Did you ever read Blade of the Immortal? Uh, only like chapter 897 in a random magazine once. Well, I mean, that makes sense. There was, you know, 11 billion chapters of it. I never finished it either, to be honest. Uh, I read a fair bit, and there was just a point where I moved or something and never, like, moved my uh, comic book pull box. Yeah. But for those who aren't, like, you know, super into manga, I guess, uh, it's about, like, a samurai that he was cursed or blessed, I don't know, depending on how you look at it, with basically the power to regenerate. He was like Wolverine. Uh, and he was not the best dude. And, uh... He basically went on a, a thing of repentance where he was supposed to, like... He's like, I killed a bunch of dudes that didn't deserve it. Uh, and, you know, I could say I was serving my lord, but, like, no, I, I was just a, a terrible dude. Um, still being a terrible dude and not wanting to, like, repent in the traditional sense. He's like, I'll kill a hundred terrible dudes and that will totally balance the scales. Oh, yeah, that's totally how it works. That's blow, exactly... Blow up a city, <laughs> give a hobo approximately a thousand water bottles, and you're good. It's I mean, yeah, he was operating under Bethesda rules for uh, good and evil, the tower burned, or uh, or fable, now, or any of those. Mm. Here you stand. Your light burns a path before us. Okay, so and on that path, Shaq's I've got a tower. So that's nice. You. Battles. Yeah, I'm I'm picturing him like honestly not noticing that his superpowers were gone because he's just sort of a buff in my dude. Arena, mm. Should a titan stand in your way? Like. He noticed that his ghost wasn't around. You, he hasn't thrown leg. lightning in a while, I if guess. A warlock <laughs> right. Feed him his word. Man, I, there is only one my super just isn't thing. charging. I might as well just keep shooting these dudes. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, his armor seems fine. He didn't get dropped off of a carrier or anything. Complete two matches in the quick play playlist. You know what? I think... Let's wait to do the crucible till everyone gets their superpowers back. I'd feel bad if you actually killed anybody. Yeah, I'm not gonna start throwing grenades at my buddies until they can get back up afterward. It just seems like a bad plan. He just he just figures everyone needs to, you know, train more. That's how we'll get our powers back is through training. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad because we're gonna need it. There are a lot more survivors out there, so and they need our help. We got our light got back just from a random piece of the Traveler, favorite. right? I sent a friend Basically, a uh, it's been hanging out in Europe, one. corrupting everything around it, because comic book Good radiation. Great shot. See, that's interesting, because I, I always forgot. considered the light to if be like, or the Traveler or whatever, to be like a very benevolent thing. I guess it's really just benevolent to humanity? Well, plus, I mean, it's the equivalent of blowing the leg off a super science magic thing, and then that leg kind of festering in Europe. Ah, okay. So we're gonna... We're gonna head out. I hope they I hope they do that, do something with that. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Well, like... Um... One, uh, that seems like a source of immense power that the city could probably use for its defense or offense or whatever, depending on what faction's ideology you're going for. Oh, definitely. But... Also, just the fact that that's probably just not good for the ecology there. Oh, yeah, no, it's super bad. I mean, if we're worried about saving I mean, the Earth, we should probably worry about saving all of it, not it, just, you know, people. I mean, they're calling it a European dead zone. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a thing we should fix. Well, we've kind of been stuck behind a wall for the past who knows how long. Sure, sure, but I mean, now that we've been forced out of the comfort, front comfort of that wall, I'm hoping we, you know, deal with some of these harsh realities that have existed outside of it. Yeah, good point. I'm just saying, I, I don't I don't know what the story holds for this, but I hope that regardless of whether it's in the main game or in some down-the-road piece of uh, DLC or something, I just think it would be a cool uh, a cool direction to go with it. Oh, definitely. 
And it'll give you a reason to run around Earth and do Earth stuff. I know Earth is usually like the starting zone, and then you run out into the stars and sort of only stop back to pick up your rewards. Yeah. Yeah, basically, you don't spend a whole lot of time on Earth past. Oh, man. What about all of the, like, off-world guardians that were off-world when the, uh, when the thing happened? Well, a good chunk of them are super dead. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, Venus and Mars are terraformed enough that you can exist there, right? Sure, sure. Okay, so as long as you're not killed by the terrible monsters roaming around... You could, in theory, survive there until things get better. Exactly. Okay. Just curious. What is going on today? What is with these servers today? today? Why? The light so, has forsaken us. So we're just going to catch up as soon as we can load in there. We're just going to do the, the fast forward thing? Yeah. And we're Don't back. Now that you've got your As are back. the servers, I guess. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they'll stay stable. The, the light has returned. Just remember, refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. Oh Want yeah, no, them? they're super hosts. Find Devram K. So, these refugees are—are are they refugees? They're from the city. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not a whole lot of humanity outside the city. Well. There's the city and then the farm, and as far as we know, that's it. Yeah. And then the Devrim K that uh, Hawthorne mentioned. Who I have to assume lives in the farm, but just is out here because he's, you know, the equivalent of like a a jungle guide or whatever. He's, he's somebody who's figured out a way to exist in this area for fun and profit. Yeah. Nah, it's probably, you know, dusts off uh, pre-fall relics and other goodies and, you know... Stop it. Brings back, uh, you know, batteries for things and all sorts of other hard-to-obtain stuff. Because, uh, I mean... Scavenging. Yeah. Super important. Exactly. Uh, especially considering uh, that there's not much of a manufacturing base left on, you know, Hello, this man. earth. At least not a, a human one. Uh, hey, what's yes. up, guy? But here I have no tea to serve. These are dire Ooh, times show. indeed. Hooray! Devram K, the eighth at your service. Dead zone show. City militia. It looks camo-colored. Now it I is have camo the pleasure of my dear friend, Soraya Hawthorne. First you know, on the docket, contact other I'm not big on camouflage for... Uh, that means building a comnet for guardians, because the they're supposed to be, and even you know, big damn heroes and all that. Shot. And oh, so yeah. I think big flashy superhero time. colors make sense. I dare say you could but handle a few something nondescript and sort of bland for the ghost makes a certain amount of sense since right. he's what brings you back. I think That's true. Let the gun like, talking honestly, if I was an enemy sniper, I'd be shooting the little box that follows you around that gets you back up. Oh, definitely. Um... That being said, I think Guardians should be as flashy as possible, and Ghosts may be less so, if only because, you know, you should draw fire. <laughs> so this is an adventure, Let's one of the new started. mechanics of the game. There's a banner on the main floor. Uh, they're basically the old missions that didn't necessarily have a uh, distinct story purpose in the first Destiny. Okay. Except you can just do them while doing, uh, hanging out in the patrol area. Oh, so there's something to do while while you're in town. Yep. Okay. Nor I. The fallen seem to have put this up as something of a threat. Okay. I imagine so you'll find lots of objects like this that's out there the with a bit of a story to them. But I'm threats. sure that's not going to be a problem. We both need some supplies to get yeah, out here. Uh, See if you find a cache in one I mean, in the first game, nearby. from what I remember, the fallen were sort of your starter bad guy. Like, they were what you fought, and they were what was roaming around Earth, and, you know, you dealt with them. But, like, once you once you gained competency and levels and cool gear, these were the guys you fought on the way to your big problems. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that says about the Fallen. It just seems like they aren't... They aren't the worst? They're a race of intergalactic scavengers that have generally been getting a kicking the entire time they've existed. That's what I mean. Like, I, I get the feeling that 
the Vex and the Cabal can easily kick these guys out of any place they're in. Mm -hmm. And so they're the pilot fish for the sharks. You know what I mean? Debrim. Where did this like, come from? They'll follow these bigger I threats around and, and must have put them here pick at their the region as they carcasses around. they leave behind and stuff. I but think they meant it to mark something special or dangerous. But uh, church has a boat. basement. Let's oh. go check it out. Is that what that sigil thing was about? Was like, hey, stuff here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is your starter pack of what to do in areas missions. So. Is this is leading to uh, what's known like as a lost now. sector. Stretch mm. all across the Basically a, a dungeon that resets with loot down there. every day. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and the markings are like the old, uh, like... Pathfinding symbols. Yeah. Oh, hey, bad guys. They don't seem to know you're there. Red barrel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like they were hiding from something else. Like. Yeah. No, it's. They look stacked up like they were looking that way, expecting a threat. But there's just more fallen uh, dudes, so I can't help but wonder if were they ditching work. I mean, probably. They looked like low-ranking dudes, and that looks like a high-ranking dude. D did we just see some guys trying to take a smoke break or something instead of, you know, filling ether tanks or, you know, stripping parts or whatever it is they're doing? That makes a lot of sense, actually. And they were dregs, right? Yep. <laughs> I wonder if that's how they ended up losing their arms. Yeah. <laughs> couple of couple of vandals. Uh, that were supposed to be guarding something and you stormed through and blew it up. They were spared because they were not where they were supposed to be. And then they uh, got stripped of their position and had to start over again. Um, probably asked this before, but do we know how to get their arms back? Uh, they either right regrow them or they're cybernetics. Hmm. Because I know the I know the reef guy. Uh, he had like cybernetic arms, didn't he? Yep. Uh, barracks. Yeah. I, I just remember there was a, a fallen dude on the reef who was he was Go chill. Down. Yikes! These guys. <laughs> Skexis, outcast captain. I mean, he's a named character. He's supposed to that captain. I feel legitimately open cool. Supply cache. I guess. Then you kill the boss. You collect your super loot. Good work down oh, we see the boss. Too. Okay. Yep. Keep an eye out for okay, other so yeah, it is like a little mini like dungeon adventure. That's kind of neat. And then that but door opens to make day. it easy to leave. In the meantime, leave. what say we get down to business? I can appreciate that. Come on back up to the church tower. Uh, I'm putting a kettle on now. I wish more uh, like Bethesda dungeons would would have an easy back door. Right. Uh, I know oh, that man. was that was one of my big peeves with uh, Oblivion, and to some extent Skyrim was every time you went into a, a cave or a dungeon or something, uh, you never knew if you were going to have, you know, just a quick 20-minute run, or whether that was, you know, the rest of your natural life down there. Some of those <laughs> were pretty big, and didn't always have a secondary exit. Most of them don't. Yeah. Uh, And, you know, once you've killed everything, the backtracking is... It's a little dull. Provided you can find your way out, because... Uh, everything was, everything was, you know... Level design is pretty much non-existent as soon as you have a compass. Welcome back. There right. weren't any enemies to follow back up. You. Exactly. I seem to have drunk it all. Perhaps if you were you a jerk. night quicker... You what? make tea and then drink right, it all. The oh. While you were tussling with the Fallen, we've encountered a bit of a setback. Hawthorne has what placed the last we? relay on the mountain. Uh, I'm an exo. Did we go with the exo? Height, the yeah. Do still doesn't have the range we expected. I mean, Cade, Cade has, likes spicy Cade has a favorite uh, spicy ramen place, so I have to probably. assume. Yeah. Hmm. Either that, or he's even weirder than you been before, which is <laughs> also a possibility. He is the only exo that's mentioned food, but then again, it's one of those things that doesn't come up. Nah, and I mean, your two options are what? Him and Banshee, who probably can't remember if he ate that morning. Banshee 44 and uh, Lakshmi 2. Oh, the, yeah. The leader of the future war cult. Yeah, but 
She doesn't mention much of anything other than cryptic future knowledge. Very nostradamus type stuff. Yeah. But, you know, they conveniently predicted that this was what was going to happen. Oh, sure. If you predict enough things, something's going <laughs> to... Uh, big bad guy's going to kick us out of the city. Yeah, thanks. Uh, got any specifics on that? <laughs> like, what bad guy, or when, or anything? No, just one of this day's 57 predictions. All right, thanks. That's not fair. I think they're neat, but... I, uh, I liked the Dead Zone guys more. So, like, you know, we need to get back out and explore and spread back out. Get away from this giant target that's over our city. Okay, why? And we're back again. Yes. Hopefully our computer will last just long enough to get us through, uh... Praise the Traveler. <laughs> we have returned. Hey, Dev. I'm still sitting up here above the mines with his busted comm relay. Where's that signal booster? It's experience sig it's experiencing signal route. degradation. I'm getting too old <laughs> to clean up after you, so I... Uh, Finally! He is man, you know, the old. server dropping out on us like that adds a <laughs> lot of realism to this charging, whole uh, signal issue. Down. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Don't you mean one a week? You're the reason my hair is gray. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, old man. I'm thinking the stress of living outside the walls is the reason your hair is gray. Right? I mean, what happens if you get a kidney infection? Yeah. He doesn't look that old, either. You know? Oh no, he's just got some gray on his temples. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, I'm curious what his actual age is, considering he's living out in the... Uh, 397. I don't know what lifespan is these days. That's true. He could I be don't, 23. I don't know what old is in uh, <laughs> the super future of Destiny. Because, I mean, guardians don't die of old age. Right. So. And we know that we just wrapped up our age of, like, unprecedented expansion and, you know, peace and prosperity and stuff. We're just, we're just coming off of that. And we still have a lot of the technological benefits of it, honestly. Oh, yeah. It's just that when something breaks, we have a hard time replacing it. Stop with the stupid verticals. They got ups. They got mad ups. So, I noticed the Wraiths get, like, big kill sticks, but that they still look like drags. Take us to the top of the mine. Yeah, that still drags. They're just drags with no guns. Ah, melee drags. Waiting on the elevator. Oh. Maybe I'm, we don't take that elevator. I'm sure that's safe. We'll have to find another way up to Hawthorne. Are you sure? Yeah, you're probably sure. <laughs> Everything right. looks a little warped, yeah. How does Hawthorne get back down? <laughs> uh, the fallen are scavengers Everyone of the else has order. just been using uh, the cable and sliding up and they down. Can get their you're the first person that's ever hit the mechanical button. <laughs> It's because you're used to being in the city and everything working. Well, see, there's just this path down the mountain. It's kind of scenic. <laughs> uh, then why did I go all the way up? I don't know. You know following a little direction bar? Oh, yeah. You're the only person that has GPS. <laughs> we just always went up the, the side of the mountain. It's really not that hard. We got a road and everything. I mean, there's some switchbacks, but you get that. Yeah. No, you're the only person using GPS and several hundred-year-old maps. <laughs> I mean, no one's updated any of this. Well, I mean, why would they? Usually I'm flying around in a spaceship. And I just kind of drop onto where... I... Okay. All right. Question. I got the thingy. It's in my pocket. Why don't I just go on my spaceship and fly there? Where are you trying to go? Oh, to the... The, the top of this thing. Oh. There's plenty of place to drop me off. Um, the city is under the control of the Cabal. Maybe something the no-fly zone. Or just the but fact... But I flew here. But 
you flew straight up and out into the atmosphere. Yeah, I guess. Barnstorming around at uh, the, sa the at the level where you can be shot at with small arms might not be the best idea. Why not? I'll survive. Yes, but your vehicle might not. And I don't know if Holiday uh, has all of her cool stuff back. That's fair. I haven't run into Holiday yet. Hope she's okay. Well, the controls are broken. Oh, someone must yeah. have gotten mad that it wasn't working. Yeah, fast that's enough. a good point. Yeah, we haven't even. <laughs> of Cade. God, she's just a people. Yeah, she was okay. never a guardian to begin with. So I, so I, I say that doubly so now. There's, there's probably a few reasons that we don't want to risk what, what functioning technology you have. Honestly, this feels like the kind of thing where, even if you didn't, uh. Random gun? Yeah. Neat. Uh, honestly, this feels like the kind of situation where a, uh, a jet bike would be nice. But oh, yeah. we haven't even seen one of those. Okay, it's sniper rifle suck. I hate them. <laughs> These guys do wiggle around a little bit too much for that. If they didn't know you were coming, you know, I mean, that's that's really the only time I'm any good with sniper rifle in a game. So, come to think of it, uh, I was saying that the, the Fallen feel like the starter enemy, and after you lost all your cool superpowers, here we are, you know, fighting Fallen, fighting Fallen again. The uh, the training wheels of enemies. Yeah. I mean, they're cool looking. They have a great design aesthetic to them, uh, but yeah, they. They don't seem to be as threatening as the other threats. That's true. They're they're not robots from an alternate timeline trying to make all timelines match theirs, so they're the dominant one. And they're not uh, space marines that can you know. Oh yeah. Mobilize like planet destroying armies. It's over here. They're the Insecticons. From, you know, from Transformers? Oh, yeah. The Insecticons, uh, I mean, they were allied with the Decepticons, and they were part of them, technically, but they didn't really... It was really just that they're... They had the same end goal, but they didn't necessarily give, you know, a crap whether, uh, whether Megatron won or lost. Uh, but it was convenient to, you know, follow him around and feed off of the Energon left behind. And uh, sure, yeah, they were they were war profiteers or scavengers, and that seems kind of like what these guys are. I mean, they'll scatter if you as much as flip on a big light, and they are kind of bug like. That's true. Uh, cause yeah, I mean, these guys seem to get pushed out of the way by the Vex and the Cabal, like. Pretty Basically much, immediately. Yeah, pretty much as soon as one of those two forces shows up. The hive. Oh yeah, there's another good example. That's another group that they honestly feel like like fallen plus. Because mm. because they look a bit more biological than the big armored shell people that are the cabal. Because they're all space marine armored up, and then the vex are just metal. You know, yeah. they're inorganic, yeah. hive mindy things. But yeah, no, the, the Hive kind of feel like a, uh, a beefier and more fallen capable mind. Fallen Seems you've really in a lot of the ways. Nest, haven't you? That's trip. That's trap. Yeah, you know, this further backs up the idea that this is not how anyone else gets down. Or not. Yeah. Because... Okay, now. <laughs> Alright, that's... Yeah, there's there's no way that this is how Hawthorne gets around or uh Devlin. No. Uh. Yeah. There's no way that this is how the rest of them get around. Can't be. This is ridiculous. Um, they aren't even good defenses. But they're just so many. Yeah. So who makes those? Oh, that's that's fallen. That's fallen tech right yeah. there. Just 
pieced together out of what they had in the area, I guess. Basically laser claymores. Sure. Alrighty. Well, this looks nice and safe. We got a good scattering of cover. Another. We got some exploding as barrels. Good. Almost as good as Lewis. Yeah, this is fine. No bad guy's gonna show up here. <laughs> well, I, I I just assume a big wave of bad guys simply because the uh, the no ghost symbol popped up and your screen got all wavy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. No variable scope on that. So let's put on our good gear. Your your tanned leather armor. Yep. Wait, not the yet. Not Power must be out. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And we've up nope. the hey. Just a regular servitor, not a not an ascendant servitor or any of the weird monikers they started getting towards the end here. True. They did pick up a new ability, though. We're probably going to see it here in a bit. Oh? Yeah. I was just pointing out the fact that these aren't even, like, particularly strong quality. Oh, no. These, these guys have had it good, and they haven't had to really beef up security or uh, improve their tech. I guess they really have only had to fight, like, regular people with regular guns. True. Uh, uh see? New ability. Oh, did it... Oh, it's got a little shield unit for that other guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Really annoying. So I think it's funny he was... Goblins, anyway. He was beefing up a regular handle. Well, they don't seem to have any captains or anything. Ah. Uh, Stop it. But, uh, yeah, these guys really only had to fight against regular dudes with regular guns, so they, they do seem to not bother with stronger weaponry if they don't have to. I Why imagine, make yourself more of a target than you need to be? I guess, I guess it's that, or, uh... Why spend your limited resources on it if a regular servitor does the job? True. I mean, especially if they're scavengers. Uh, if they can get away with regular servitors and regular shanks, uh, it's probably a, a lot less resource intense to build the base model. Um, you know a bit more about the lore of this game. Uh, did these guys at least get some interesting, like, you know, grimoire backstory stuff? Oh, yeah. I just I just know their clan base and scavengers, and then the bit about the gods. Uh, well, I think at some point I asked you why the dregs didn't have extra arms. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, they get kicked around a lot. Their homeworld's probably been eaten by something by now. Mm. But, uh, probably one of these factions, I bet. Probably. So it's either, you know, taken over by the Cabal or uh, converted into a Vex. Or eaten by the Hive. Or eaten by the Hive. The yeah, they like doing that. Maybe I'll finally get my booster one of these days. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, or, um... Or taken. Oh, yeah. Could be taken. Their world could have been taken, which would be an interesting reason for them to still be around here. Yeah. You know, even with all the stuff that's gone on recently. They might not have anywhere to go back to. On the other hand, they are like the faction you can see uh, actually working like at some point. Oh, like you could see some kind of truce or ceasefire or something sure. against a, a big enough foe. Yeah. I mean, work for the reef. I was gonna say, they, they did that with the reef, or uh, if we want to go to one of Bungie's other properties, it could be like Halo 3 with the uh, the Covenant. Oh, yeah. Where you, you made sort of a deal because the Flood were worse. The, 
eat my silenced pistol of single shots with bad accuracy. I thought hand cannons were cool. Oh, this is a sidearm. Oh. Hand cannons are cool. Oh. <laughs> this is just what we have? Yep. Mm. Uh, I don't have a sidearm. I don't have it, burst uh... fire or fully automatic or nothing. It's just bang, bang, bang. This is a regular gun that just shoots bullets. <laughs> uh, it's got fire bullets, so that's out something. Of the okay. Heading your way. Then hurry up with Which that I'm using because I'm out of bullets for my actual gun. Oh. And, uh, thanks for the help. You're not so bad for a fancy pants guardian. I also got dance moves. Hey, our pants are not fancy so yet. I, I don't even know if they're blue. Air, my friend. Mm, I don't think so. I think I still look like Space Obo. <laughs> oh, that's a big cabal base. That's not a problem. We can handle that. <laughs> <sighs> I will say that's one big change is that uh You made it. The factions that are running around Earth have changed Looks quite a like bit. Owes me money. You really only saw right. Fallen on Earth worked. and then yeah, the some hive. Right? With Siva you saw Lots more fallen. Lots more fallen, and then there's an some, incoming uh, beacon. Well, that's good. Taken and a bit the of hide. Lost. If there is any light left in the system, we rally on Titan. But the cabal, uh, the uh, the cabal never really had a presence outside of Mars. The cabal is so. alive. If we hey, all right. We so all made it. You are not going to Titan. But. That's where got my superpower friends live. The Red Legion on one side, the Fallen on the other. But I mean, if we go but get we them and bring them back, maybe back. we can rub them on that piece of rock and see if they get their powers he's back. Gone. I mean, that's what we did. Hawthorne, we will be back, and we won't be alone. You'll know where to find me. You know, this goes back to what I was saying before. Hawthorne's probably worried you won't make Atmo before you get gunned down by a, a frigate or a carrier or something. That's true. I mean, there is essentially a cabal blockade of the planet at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're in full occupation force mode at this at this juncture. Um, there's a reason that any like refugees at this point aren't trying to take transports to Titan. It's because, you know... They don't have transports, and they get shot down if they try. Exactly. Oh, he's had better days. Uh, I think his helmet's broken. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of things are broken, but that's just the thing that I immediately glommed onto, I guess. One of your guardians has reconnected to the light. Ah, that's super bad for you. I was gonna say, how did he know? But I guess he is literally clamped onto its nipples. So I mean, like, he he's he's got kind of a read on what that ball is doing right now. Yeah, yeah. They've got a fairly good intelligence network. Honestly. Plus, plus they've got this guy, and he's try to trap it, but you know, tapped into whatever. The light, yeah, the light will protect itself. You know, that would have been a good voice for the speaker. What? Jeff Goldblum. Yeah! The yeah! The world it has touched. Its power over life and death. Well, we life, so anyway. Your traveler and I. It's really just safe you states. You are nothing like <laughs> the traveler. Nothing. You think you have power. Control. Oof. I know you know, I appreciate high-def graphics, but every so often they pan a little too close <laughs> to one of these space ring guys, and they look real bad. I mean, they're really well rendered, but... Hey, you don't want to see all of Gull's pores? No! <laughs> There's a lot of ridges. Yeah, there is. I mean, he looks like a topographical map of the moon with eyes. Um, I don't remember if I said this before, but like... They kind of remind me of the, in the, light. the Grenier from yes. uh, Warframe. Mm -hmm. Not ideology-wise, because, like... The, oh, these the, guys are much more interesting. These guys are much more interesting. The Grenier were kind of boring as a faction. But visually, like, there's a lot of the same issues going on of... Is your head supposed to look like it's melting? <laughs> like, just how potato-like do you normally look? Right. 
I mean, I get the impression there's some genetic tampering going on, and that they cared more about utility than uh, than looks. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're all going to be interned inside of big metal shells anyway. We might as well look like what I assume a lobster looks like without its shell underneath. Mm. All right. Well, next time on Endless Mo, we're going to rendezvous with Savala on Titan. Uh, see how many Guardians made it out. and uh, What's going on there? And find out if we can rub them on that piece of that rock and get them their cool powers back. Yeah, that'd be off landing. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks.